Hi, welcome back to Danny Goldad. If you're new here, please subscribe. Today we're going to be looking at the scenics of the hillside and the central area of the layout. So let's get started on that. Today we're going to look at the scenics in the central area and on the hillside. First thing you need to do is set down a base coat. I've got a cheap bottle of burnt umber here. I think this cost me about uh, two quid in a discount store. So we just cover the whole area and just paint it. And that gives us the base colour to start our scenics on. There's a brown cover over everything now as the base colour for doing the scenery. You can see I've set up the houses there uh, where I want them positioned. I'm going for a narrow street scene with a footpath out the front of the house. This also gives me a bit of space behind the houses so I can build some gardens. Over here we're going to have the farm scene. So I've got the little farmhouse there still to be painted and I'll create a couple of fields around here. Um, this area here is by the station. So I'm going to create a car park here. So let's get on and we'll start marking out the houses where they are in position and we'll do start building the roadways. So just get a pencil to mark where the houses are going on the baseboard. So I want to create a, a narrow type street scene where these houses are so there can be some cars parked up on the pavement, that sort of thing. So it's a small town scene. If you're doing modelling, recommend getting yourself a scale ruler. You can get them in most model shops or online. Right, that's the houses marked out. So we'll take them out of the way and then I'll start marking out for the roads and show you how I do the roads. Right, I've moved everything out of the way. So now I'm just going to draw roughly where I want the car park to go. So I have a rough guidance. For everything for laying the road foundation and from here I want a road going up to what's going to be the farmhouse so we'll start off a wide road and then we'll take it down to a small or country road again you can use a vehicle or use your ruler to give you a guide on what size to draw it There's a rough guide now. So I use build my roads by pouring plaster in. And what I use is this stuff here to create a dam. This is simply uh, the draft proofing you can get to put around doors. A big roll of it like this cost me about a euro in a discount store. And it's sticky backed. So you just simply stick it down where you want the roads and then pour the plaster. So I'll do that now. That's it laid out there, ready for the plaster to be poured to create the roadway and the car park. You notice the area where I'm putting the houses. I'm also going to put plaster there so the houses actually sit on top of it. So they look like they're above the road with the curbstone. So I'll just mix up the plaster now and we'll start pouring. I'm using Herculite plaster to make the roads, which is the same plaster I use for doing the casts for the scale cast and linker moulds. So I've mixed up, just tap the tub a few times, this just helps release any air bubbles trapped in it when they come to the surface. And it's just a case of just simply pouring it in and spreading it out. I will probably have to do this in a couple of batches because there's a, a big area to cover. So I'll carry on doing this. There's the plaster poured and leveled. Um, we'll leave it now to dry overnight and then we can sand it 
you'll notice there's a few imperfections in it here, which I want to leave in because you can highlight them because unless a road is brand new, recently laid, it's never going to be perfect. So you want to leave these uh, imperfections in there to highlight potholes, that sort of thing. So when that dries, we'll look at it and sand it as necessary. So we'll start doing some scenics now on the hillside and we'll get cracking on that. So let's get on with the scenics on the hillside. What I'm using here is these bags of, basically it's coloured sawdust. You get them in different uh, shades of green, brown, all sorts of colours to create your landscape. So I'm going to put a start with a base coat of this colour, sort of a mixed green and dark. And to do that, you get your PVA glue, it's doing a small section at a time. It's always best to work from the back forward. Spread on the glue, just paint it on. And just work using a small section at a time. Because you don't want the glue to go off too quickly. As she is, it's quite warm today, so this glue should go off very quickly. that section done. Get your bag scatter. And what you're doing is you just sprinkle it on. miss a bit and there's bold patches don't worry about it because you're going to be going over it several times with different shades and everything to when you look at a, a hillside or a grassy field it's not all the same shade of green so we'll be going back over it with different shades of scatter so it gives you an effect of a, a real field a real scene so there's that bit done now what I would do is leave that to dry and then I'd come back tomorrow with a vacuum and vacuum off the excess into a stocking or something like that so I can reseal the next section. So I'm going to carry on doing this, doing the same method again, small section, scatter and then repeat over the hillside. There you can see with that green scatter on the hillside it looks better already. So we'll continue on with that next time with the scenic work on the layout here. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and put any comments down below. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.